Hey everybody, Sean here from Shooty School. Today we're going to look at Bandmate from front to back. You're going to know how to use it when we're done. But when we're done, if you're still curious or you want to take it to the next level, come visit me on my channel, Shooty School, and we'll look at advanced workflows together. All right. Now, if you subscribe, you can join me on my Easy Drummer 3 video series as I go through the program. And if you hit the notifications button and watch my videos right away, you may never see an ad on my channel because I don't put ads on my videos until a video has reached 1000 views incentive for you to subscribe. Before we get started, check out my Facebook and Discord user group. If you want to chat with me or better than that, a growing TuneTrack user base community. Let's rock and roll. Bandmate, which is really a breakthrough feature in technology, allows you to import media such as audio and MIDI so we can find matching drum beats and create new ones. Remember Tap to Find? You drag beats into Tap to Find to find similar drum beats. In Bandmate, you drag anything such as guitar, bass, keyboards, or whichever instrument you can come across and it will do its best to match the tempo of your file and find the right feeling groove to match it. If audio production's new to you and you need some materials, some assets to work with, I'll put some scratch guitar files on my website. The link's in the description. You can download those and play with those until you have something yourself, okay? Bandmate is a 100% AI experience, so your results may differ depending on the task at hand. The cleaner, less busy, and more tightly performed your audio file is, the better the results. Dragging in this clean thrash guitar riff file, I'll confirm that Bandmate found a good tempo to start with using one of its suggested tempos. Play with these other suggestions otherwise, or type the tempo you're sure of. If your file was performed well enough, it should all just work right out of the gate and loop correctly, like this. If I drop a MIDI file in here, like from Easy Keys for example, You'll get this cute little drop down menu and you can not only select some quick sounds to represent your MIDI file, but you can transpose by one octave as well. What a cool little toy. Let me throw a scratch funky guitar riff in. It doesn't loop right, but I know for a fact that it's at 108 BPMs because I recorded it myself, so let me type that in right here. We're in business. Here, I can adjust the volume of my imported file and the recommended drum beat for it. You can mouse over the ends of your audio files and MIDI file to adjust the start and ends to exclude unwanted sections in time to a grid if your files were recorded to a click or select this snap button to make adjustments off of the grid. This follow menu has two options, all notes and tonal notes. All notes should find a busier, more syncopated beat to your audio files, and tonal notes should be less busy. But don't waste too much brain power on this if it doesn't work exactly as described. It reacts differently to all sorts of files. And sometimes only one of the two options are even available depending on the source file's characteristics. Just test the options, select one, and move on because the amount panel below will take care of the rest. And before we go down there, the only other options we have in the Bandmate tab are on this toolbar at the top. Turn on the metronome while you work, and if you can't hear it, adjust its settings up here. Adjust the time signature here if it isn't already correct. And give a custom tempo that you know is correct or reveal again the tempos that Bandmate was previously recommending and try those out. The Bandmate tempo will play back at a speed that is independent of your DAW or your standalone project settings. It's very convenient. We have typical transport controls with loop enabled by default for good reason. And if you look at the light gray bar below, you can disable loop by clicking on it and adjust the loop parameters by mousing over and click dragging the sides of the bar. Want to hear a quick and dirty version of your riff in 5.4? Then try this. On the edit menu, you can clear your imported file if it's currently selected. You can select Show Similar Grooves, which will launch your drum beat to the Grooves page and give results. 
Search with Tap to Find will preload your final bandmate beat into a Tap to Find MIDI drop zone, again, to trigger results on the Grooves page. But for me in this case, it's not the exact same result, so you may want to test the two. Or simply select the Tap to Find button and continue editing your beat with its different workflow. And depending on which beat you have selected down here, you may have the option to view the containing folder it derived from by clicking Select Containing Folder and see the folder hierarchy for beats from the same recording session or song. This option doesn't work for all beats. And lastly, launch your beat in Song Creator to let Easy Drummer 3 potentially lay out an entire song with your bandmate drum beat that you've created. This edit menu can also be revealed by right-clicking on your bandmate drum MIDI file here. Simply click the New button to re-trigger the File Import dialog in which you can hit the Close X button if you decide you don't want to lose your previous bandmate work. Now down to the bottom section. Bandmate will find a beat from your Tune Track Grooves tab, which is already loaded into the drum lane. You can adjust the three main instruments of that beat. Here we have snare, kick, and hats. But those instruments may change depending on the genre you select over here. As we turn these instrument values up and down, we will hear more or less hits from that instrument depending on bandmate's analysis of the transients. In layman's terms, transients are peaks of wave files. If you're turning up the snare drum and see the extra dots appearing in the MIDI file but don't really hear the difference, those are probably ghost notes. If you want to audibly reveal those ghost notes, you could adjust this velocity knob here. But keep in mind, this velocity and swing knob are global adjustments. They will change your entire drum beat. If you want to adjust individual instrument velocity or swing, you may want to save these adjustments for the grid editing tab. Though swing might get you to a good swing or shuffle right out of the gate. Give it a shot. Adjust the sensitivity of the swing knob here, and you may want to keep these two options checked unless you want your velocity and swing knobs to be applied to the next beat you audition from over here. This panel here is where we can search our Grooves tab conveniently by genre, and literally select new beats to fly in real time and instantly audition. It's pretty powerful. Don't forget that the undo command works if you want to step back through your progress in case you change your mind. Lastly, there's a filters drop down menu. Selecting an instrument under power hand will focus search results to what instrument the drummer typically plays with his dominant hand, a hi-hat or a ride for example. And under type from the bottom up, you may want faster beats, typical speed, slow, and swing triplet isn't straightforward because if you're in a basic time signature like 4-4, I might want a full swing shuffle feel. But if I'm in 6-8, for example, I may just want triplets. So don't get stressed if this doesn't do exactly what you want. You'll get what it means in due time as you play with it. And straight up here, I think just means generic, but in a good way, you know, like, a, like give me a good backbeat foundation. Well, before changing your work or importing a new bandmate file, drag this beat you've been working on down to the song track so you can preserve your work for later. And lastly, which is not always available, this number two button here. When selected, you will hear what bandmate thinks your kick drum pattern should be for the file you imported. Switching back to the number one button will let you hear the kick drum from the selected groove from over here. These two numbers are for kick drum only. And the power tip as you keep turning these amount knobs is hold your control key, option on Mac, and click on these knobs to start over with the default values. This is obviously a technological culture shock and we'll see if TuneTrack pushes it even further in future updates. Regardless, it's really fantastic. Now that you have an idea of what Easy Drummer 3's bandmate has to offer, start playing with it. Generate some ideas, generate some questions for your preferred workflow, and when you're comfortable or more curious about this feature, head back over to Shooty School and see my other bandmate videos where I'll talk and demo advanced workflows. If you want to ever see me again, hit subscribe.
come back to me. I'm going to trailblaze Easy Drama 3 videos. Don't forget to come down and check us out at the Facebook and Discord user group. Rock on.